Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video right here with the TCL P series, the 55 P605 series, performance series that I like to call from TCL. Now, uh, I was, I'm being putting videos on comparing SDR versus HDR here on this display TV. And uh, last video I was trying Horizon Zero Dawn, and now this time we're gonna try Uncharted 4. Now, the reason being is because this game also supports HDR and is one of those exclusive games on the PlayStation that it looks really good. It looks really good. Actually, the new game is coming out in uh, just a few more days, I think, like on the 25th, if I'm not wrong. I don't know, but I am definitely going to get that one. So, okay, so let's start with this video on last time I checked this. Let's check out the settings that I had. Um, now, this is the HDR. The TV brightness is on normal at this point. Uh, the picture mode is dark. And let's jump into the advanced settings. Now I have the local con contrast on high. You can turn this on and off. The only thing is just when the local contrast is on high, it makes the picture a little bit darker. You guys can notice the difference. All right, so that's all it does. Now the backlight is uh, 75. Brightness is at 50. And contrast 100. Sharpness, I lowered down a little bit to 20. As you guys notice right there, right here, it also actually tells you uh, a suggesting line from TCO where you should keep this. And I will try this right now, but I will change this and I will explain to you why. Now the color, I pumped it up all the way up to 80 because when it was at 50, it just looked really, really dull, really washed out. The colors didn't look that right. So, oh shit. So let's go back over here. Also, I have uh, color temperature in warm and game mode on. Okay, so these are the settings that I'm using for this and then we're gonna try something else. All right guys, so let's check out some pictures of this game. Right, guys so in the meantime I'll show you some of the settings that I'm gonna change let's watch this never-ending paint job <laughs> all right man so uh, let me show you real quick so the settings that I have um, were suggested by one of the subscribers and I want to say thank you so much for this settings that you guys submitted if you want to submit a uh, different kind of settings you're welcome to do so in the comments right below and I also wanted to say thank you to the guy. I forgot his name. I'm so sorry, dude. But I just wanted to mention uh, another subscriber sent me a message requesting this because he has the same TV, the TCL P-Series, and he was having problems with his HDR. Uh, now, even after he tried the settings and everything, I think it's they still look, they still don't look good. So it might be a problem with the TV, but uh, I hope that it works out for you. That TV. I'm sorry I didn't I don't remember your name but uh, thank you so much for this you know who I'm talking about and another thing uh, also I noticed some people were saying that I, I should use the backlight all the way to 100 to display a better HDR and that's kind of true uh, you know the backlight it, elimin it illuminates all the LEDs in the back of the TV now in contrary uh, the brightness the brightness it just gives bright colors to everything so what it does it just adds more white into the colors and I'll show you right now how it looks it'll look all the colors are all washed out so you don't want to add this you want to keep it up to 50 that's a good brightness right here 50 but the backlight it just illuminates the whole LEDs everything so 
I'm gonna change this backlight to 100 also the sharpness uh, sharpness I usually don't add any sharpness and the reason is because sharpness just adds particles uh, sharpness I think is is just I usually use for let's say blu-ray movies I noticed that you do notice a little bit of change on the blu-ray movies and displays that are you know like 480 maybe 7 720p maybe uh, like all movies or all DVDs that need a little bit of sharpness then you might want to add that but we're talking about this is a 14 I think this is a 1440p display so it's a, like a 2k display and then most of the games are 4k on the PlayStation 4 Pro and also most of the games are either that or upscale to 4k so you won't need any more sharpness so let's remove the sharpness out of the way right so sharpness is gone and the bright the the backlight is all the way up to 100 so let's try these settings you guys are looking at the settings right now I have game mode on I also have local contrast all the way up to high you can change this to low if you want but I usually keep it let's I usually keep it on high let's do it on medium so it doesn't give a big of an impact all right so let's do this guys Alright guys, so these are the settings that I'm using and the difference, it is very noticeable. You might not notice a lot of difference on the on this video because, you know, first off, you're, you're not able to see HDR display that correctly. But that is one of the reasons that I record through a camera on the picture display on the, the TV so you guys can capture the best colors possible right here with HDR and SDR. But right here, for example, I am... This is a SDR display, and let's change this to HDR really quick. Oh, shoot, one more. There you go. All right. And you guys will probably be able to notice how the display, it goes a little bit darker, but at the same time, you get more details in this. You get more colors more shaders that is basically what HDR does it gives you more details in the picture instead of just uh, a lot of brightness in there let me just show you for the last settings that I have right now so TV brightness is a normal you can I can you can bump it up to bright or brighter but I think normal looks pretty good so far and advanced settings I have dark HDR local contrast I changed it to medium Sometimes you're able to notice some dark corners when it's all the way up to high. Not here, but there's some uh, there's some other images that I notice that there's some dark corners, and I don't really like that. But it's up to you if you want to do that. I just change it to medium. So backlight is all the way to 100, brightness 50, contrast 100. I remove the sharpness all the way if you want to add it. The, the suggestion right here on the, from TCL it's uh, up to 20. So I just removed it when we have the serial color. It, I pumped it up to 80. I feel like 80 looks really good. Otherwise the color is really good. Uh, they look washed out. Color temperature, warm, and it, this has game mode on. All right. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know on the on the comments any other suggestions that you guys want me to try here on this on this TV. So far, it looks really good. I like it a lot. The HDR does pop out with the settings that I'm using, and that's it. All right, guys. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Just around.